Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here today to talk about the new film, Till, which is the film that revolves around the young 14-year-old boy, Emmett Till, who tragically lost his life to a, a lynching murder in 1955. This is a very heavy film, as you can imagine, and if you're not familiar with the story of Emmett Till, I recommend that you start doing some research and check out this movie when you can. It's a very important film, and this is the story that I know people are aware of, but at the same time I feel like are not that aware of. So I'm actually very grateful that this movie exists. It gives us an opportunity to kind of really explore and learn about Mamie, his mother, maybe Till Mobley, who, you know, was quite the activist, somebody who went above and beyond to make sure that her son was seen and heard despite you know, not being able to fend for himself after he lost his life tragically at the age of 14. It's just like mind blowing that anybody um, would let people get off on a murder like this. What's even more frustrating is the fact that the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act did not even go into effect until this year. It has been 67 years since Emmett Till was murdered and it is only up until 2022 that that act has now been effective. It's really, really sad and really ridiculous. Something else that I learned about this movie um, or about this story from this movie is that the woman who initially reported, um, you know, the incident between he, she and Emmett Till, which is not really even to be considered an incident, but because that is exactly what we have to, I guess, classify it as, she has never been prosecuted for her involvement in that murder. And that was something else that was just mind blowing to me. So learning about all these things, the behind the scenes of what really happened is just devastating. And it's really, really tragic and heartbreaking just all around. So again, if you have not informed yourself on this story, I definitely recommend that you do because it is a fairly important one to know. Um, that being said, I want to talk about the movie. I thought the movie was beautifully done. It's direction, it's writing. I thought the pacing was great. I thought the acting was great, which I'm going to get into a minute because there's one person in particular that I need to highlight with that acting. The thing I want to talk about the direction, though, is that the movie was just so colorful, so vibrant. There was a liveliness to it. Um, they, I know that the director, she wanted to make sure that this movie didn't really showcase any of the violence. Of course, there's going to be like that air of the, you know, we know what's going on, but we're not going to actually see too much of it. The only thing descriptive and graphic that we will see is exactly what... Mamie Till Mobley wanted, which was for the world to have um, an idea and an understanding of what her son looked like after he was killed. And then she had an open casket at the funeral. So we do see, at least by this version, of what Emmett Till looked like afterward. And it is quite disturbing. It's graphic and it's uncomfortable, but very necessary because if this were your child and there was an injustice, you would want the same thing, or at least as Mamie Till Mobley in the movie says, you know, any mother would have done this to show the world just the wrongdoing in which their child um, had been put through. It is just a beautiful film, though, despite, you know, the horrificness that went on, because I think what, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her name because I don't want to butcher it, but the director, uh, this female writer and director, she was, she just told the story so lovely, and I love the way attention to detail, she made everything feel so full of life um, in a story like this one. So I really applaud her for that. The one actress that I want to step out, and I just want to say I thought all the acting in the movie was great, but the one actress that I have to point out is Danielle Deadweiler, who is Mamie Till Mobley. Incredible performance, outstanding. Um, I know actors are not supposed to do roles for, you know, awards and things like that, but I do want to just throw this out there right now that I hope she gets recognized come award season. I literally was sitting in the movie theater just like hand her the Oscar now, which again, I know is not kind of the the goal when you're doing a project, but to be recognized for your hard work, she did a phenomenal job. I was emotional. I cried um, during the movie a few times. I was getting teary. Um, she just has this, of course, emotional like reaction to the news, to when she sees him, to when she has to speak on behalf of him. There's a moment in the courtroom that like is a perfect one take where we don't like cut for maybe, a, I don't know how long, maybe five, six minutes. And it is wonderfully put together and she did a fantastic job. So I'm going to praise Danielle Deadweiler for the rest of the year. I thought she just knocked it out of the park. Um, but yeah, that being said, I think all around with her performance, with the direction, with the writing, with everything that we learn, 
It is such a beautiful film. Again, it's a very heartbreaking and devastating movie to sit through, but it is also a beautiful love story between a mother and son. And that was probably the most effective part about it for me is that a mother's love is so great. She will go to great lengths to make sure that, you know, her baby was seen and heard. You know, this is her child. This is this is her baby. It's her love. It's everything. And so just watching how much of her, you know, devotion and everything she had for him. Oh. See, like, it's like, I don't want to get emotional just talking about it, but I am thinking about it because I just love that bond between mother and son and the way that it was portrayed in this film. As you can tell, I'm rating this movie like the highest as that can be. I do recommend you see it. Check it out as soon as you can. Loved it. Very good. You won't want to miss this one. And it's important that you see it.